Hi, my name is Pammy Woodruff. I'm with the School of Law Starts.com and Make It with Pam.com. This is my basic sewing series. Today we're going to learn three basic hand sewing stitches that are the basis for tons of other things, including embroidery and quilting. So why don't you stay tuned and let's see how to do these stitches. Here is a basic running stitch. Doesn't matter whether you start at the top or the bottom, and I'm making it oversized right here. It goes in and out and in and out like this. And you can take several stitches at a time and then pull it through, or you can uh, go through and just take one stitch at a time. And of course, being yarn, this is a little tougher to pull through than, than your thread would. And that is the basic running stitch. It looks pretty much the same on both sides. It's a dashed line. There's another stitch that um, you might find useful that will be even stronger on our little project which is called the back stitch. It starts out the same where you go and you take a stitch like this and pull it on through. And then instead of moving the needle forward, you'll move it back. So about where this one came up and then you stitch forward a little, pull that through, in where this one came out, and go forward a little bit and pull that through. This one is a hand stitch that will be as strong as a machine stitch as you're making your pillows. The third stitch that you might find useful is, see how this is all ravelly here, and particularly if you wash it, that would cause a problem. There is a simple overcast stitch. And the needle will go through, pull it through. And for all of these stitches, ideally, you want to have on your uh, running stitch and your back stitch probably somewhere between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch long. For this overcast stitch, it's probably something like um, between a quarter inch and a half inch apart will work just fine. And you want it about a quarter of an inch in from the edge. And so you just do a simple stitch like this right over the edge, and that will help keep that from raveling when you wash it. And it's a simple way to finish your edges. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.